Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from Olaf Road. I hope you guys are well. In today's video, I want to give you a bit of a review of the Daci Nebula 1550+. Plus. Yeah, I reckon it's actually kind of a hybrid between a swag and a tent because it is fairly big. It has a lot of room in it. The swag is mainly used by my kids. Um, they sleep together in that swag and they absolutely love it. So let me go a bit through the features of the Daci Nebula 550 Plus first. 70 millimeter mattress. And that is probably the most comfortable swag mattress which comes with any swag. So definitely good. 420 gram ripstop canvas, good quality canvas. It has a zipper protection everywhere so you have an extra flap here over the zipper which prevent water ingress. High quality fairly thick size 10 zippers. The floor is a 600 gram PVC bucket floor which means that even if your swag stands in shallow water you still should not have water ingress. I think a bucket floor is a must for any swag. The swag comes in the quality bag, which is very generously sized. So we can fit the swag, including two sleeping bags rolled up into that bag. I like my kids to be independent and they have to set up and pack in their own swags and sleeping solution. And they have done that with the Dachi since we have it. Another good feature is that the walls are straight up. So that means you can pretty much lie right next to the wall and you don't have a fly mesh or um, the side sag over you. So yeah, as I said, very roomy and comfortable. The fly screen is super fine mesh, which is midget proof. So if you camp on Fraser somewhere on the west coast on the beach, and you keep everything zipped up, you should be safe from the midges. We have used the swag now on quite a few occasions. We usually always have it under a tarp, so I did not have it in torrential rain. However, I did give it a very good pre-seasoning uh, when I bought the swag. And uh, after seasoning it, I had a look whether it had any water ingress inside. So all dry, which is good. And even with a lot of pressure from the hose, there was no water ingress. The water head rating is 800 millimeter, which is not crazy, but for a swag, uh, it's pretty good. For example, if we compare the Daci against the 23.0 swag, the Daci has 20 GSM heavier canvas and 50 GSM heavier bucket flooring. All the seams are also internally sealed with tape. If you don't want to step outside and uh, you want to get dressed in the swag, but you want to stand up, that is fairly easy because the way how it opens here, I can still stand inside because the doors go very high up. So that's me sitting in here. Look how much room I still have. Plenty, plenty, which is good. Setup is pretty fast and to be honest, we used it most of the time without any pegs, but it is probably better if you peg down the four corners. Let me show you around the inside when the kids use it. You see that the back compartment or front, depending on which way you're facing, has ample of space for all the kids' bags and the belongings. That is actually a great improvement for us because previously with the single swags, uh, it was very cramped with the bags in there or they needed to leave the bags in the car and then had to constantly get in and out of the car to grab stuff from their bags. So I really like that solution now. The storage compartment has an internal fly screen, as you can see here. That means in good weather, you could leave the storage compartment completely open for easy access and still have nothing getting into your sleeping area. The 16 mm anodized alloy body and ridge poles seem to be good quality and have not given us any grief over the one year of use. 
So are there any cons? Um, the swag is not small and it's not lightweight. So if you strap for space or for weight, it wouldn't be the, the correct swag for you. However, I found uh, it's very easy to store on the roof rack or I have it on the camper trailer on top of my cage. That fits perfectly there and suits us very well. One improvement I um, would make is I would reverse the fly mesh and the canvas. On the Dachi tent, the canvas is outside, the fly mesh is inside. So that means in bad weather, if you have to quickly make changes, you first have to open the fly mesh, then you roll um, the actual canvas down and then lock everything up again. So that's a bit of a drawback. One other thing uh, with the doors here, it is not that easy to keep them slightly open. So for instance here, if it's raining, you pretty much have to close it completely. You can't have it a little bit open. You've got to close it because the way how this opens, you can't leave it a little bit open. And um, yeah, that I would like to see different and with the mesh outside and the canvas inside. I find that very good. I have that in my rooftop tent. I had that in a few other um, tents and it makes a big difference. One little drawback here is again the way how it's zipped. I like it again if the fly screen would be outside and this is inside and then you could open it up from the inside and just have it rolled a little down. So that way, because you have a good cover here, you could still have good ventilation but no rain coming in. However, with these here, um, you either have to leave the bottom exposed and that obviously, especially with wind, rain would come in or you have to leave it completely open. And again, in adverse weather, not a good idea. Let me show you what I mean here in my Sanhima rooftop tent, which I'm currently testing. If the canvas is inside, I can easily open and close it. And if the canvas is attached like a reverse U, it makes it much easier to regulate airflow and leave the canvas only a little bit open. So it would be much better if the fly and everything was attached at the bottom and you could just zip it down and fold it over here which you can't, so that's something to take into account. However, especially for hot summer nights in good weather, I don't think there are many swags around who have better cross ventilation and airflow than the Dachi Nebula 1550+. Yeah, so what's the verdict? The family verdict of the Nebula 550+, is the kids absolutely love it. My wife also slept in here with one of the kids. She also likes it. I'm not a huge swag or tent guy. I prefer my stretcher tent. I like to be off the ground with a mattress better for my back. Even though that 70 millimeter uh, included Dachi mattress is as good as it gets for an included mattress. If I have to sleep in here, I would put an Expat Mega Mat in uh, and that actually fits exactly. So with a Mega Mat, I think I could even sleep in here. It's a good quality Dachi swag slash tent with a three year warranty. Um, there are a few little things which could be improved, maybe in the next version, but definitely no deal breaker. And I've got my son Kalen here. Hey. And he is one of the main occupants of the Dachi 550 Plus. Yeah. Kalen, your thoughts? You slept in it now for a year nearly. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. The mattress is like a good size, um, good height. There's also like a lot of area for storage over there. Um, you can put all your bags and stuff and it won't bang against you. And there's also some like little pockets where you can put any important stuff in without getting them lost. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's really warm and there's also a bunch of windows and it's pretty easy to pack up and like set up once you know how to make it. Yeah, we keep uh, the Dachi. It's in our camping repertoire. It's one of our camping setups. It stays with us for the foreseeable future. So we really like it and I can recommend it. The kids can recommend it. Yeah, guys, that's just a quick review of the Dachi Nebula 550 Plus. 
Um, for full disclosure, I have not purchased the Dachi swag. It has been provided to me for test and review purposes. But like with all the gear, I don't care whether I pay for it, whether I get it for testing purposes. If I don't like it, I don't like it. And I always tell you how it is, no exception. So please stay with us. If you like my content, if this was helpful to you, I would greatly appreciate if you could share, like, subscribe, and maybe even consider heading over to Patreon or buy me a coffee. And with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two per month, you can really help me to create this content for you. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you along the tracks. Mm -hmm.